Hey everybody, my name is Natalie Duncan Emmons. I wanted to thank you for listening to this episode of The Morning Show. I'm the creator, the producer, and the host of the show. We want you to check out our website. It's themorningshowwithnatalie.com. You can go to that website. You can see all about our sponsors, all about the show. You can even listen to live episodes while they're going on right there from the, the website. Another way to listen to the show live is go to Live365. You can download that app and just search for The Morning Show. It's right there. Super easy. We want you to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel, if you will. That way you can keep up with what's going on on The Morning Show. Thank you. I hope you enjoy it. Hey friend, it's great to have you tuned into The Morning Show today. Here on The Morning Show, you'll hear your favorite Southern gospel music and some of the classics you'll never forget. And now, the hostess of The Morning Show, Natalie Duncan Emmons. When you wake up to the storm and all you feel are the waves crashing against your boat, you wonder if anybody remembers you or the journey that you're on. When you feel discouraged from what you see on the news or the events going on around you, well, friend, cut it off. Don't look to the left or to the right. Look up. And when everything inside of you is screaming to be afraid, to accept defeat, or to hand our enemy a victory, well, you need to sing. And then keep singing. Sing it some more. For we are God's people. And that's just what God's people do. Well, we sing. He said, sing from a laughing heart to sing. When the night is dark, to sing. Let your joy explode and let music fill the air. Set on flashing wings to fill the sky with song, put music in the brook and crashing seas. The wind blew through the threads of grass like fingers through the streams of golden harps and made the meadows sing. Then he said, Sing from a laughing heart to sing when the night is dark to sing. Let your joy explode and let Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that hath made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving, and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him, and bless his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endureth to all. Nothing else to sing When something deep inside of you Tells you the life is still 
I won't forget the night I stepped out of my pew Walked down the aisle My running days were through I knelt at the altar Just as I am Gave my life to the Father And left a brand new man Now I'm a member Of the lost and found My name is Natalie Duncan Emmons. You are listening to The Morning Show. When we win, God is good. When we lose, God is good. When it rains, God is good. When the sun shines, God is good. When I'm basking in his glory, God is good. And when I am crippled by defeat, God is still good. I'm glad you're listening to The Morning Show. There is no other place I'd rather be then right here with you on this Friday morning. Big, big day. We've got a panel. Scotty Enman, Jimmy Yeary, they are here. And they will be here for the rest of the morning. I'm so excited. We've got a panel. <laughs> it's going to be fantastic. Here's the Love Ever Quartet. God's been good. singing it sounds like freedom you've been good 
to me Even late in the evening When the day is ending I'll still be singing You've been good to me To the morning show. You've never experienced a day exactly like today on the morning show because we've got a panel and it's not just any panel. It's different from any panel we've had before. We have true experts on today. They are both award-winning artists. They are singers. They are songwriters. And I have heard the word genius thrown around when describing these guys before. So we're going to start with the favorite baritone in all the Southern gospel music. Good morning, Scotty Emmon. Welcome back to the morning show. Did, did you say barely tone? <laughs> I think I said... baritone? <laughs> either one, either one. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, thank you. Thank you. Welcome um, back, yeah. Scotty. Good morning. <laughs> well, I mentioned I mentioned the favorite baritone. I also need to point out that you are a founding member of the favorite quartet and all of gospel music, something like, I don't know, 13, 23, 33 times, I lose count, and favorite all-around artist in all of gospel music, the Triumphant Quartet. But today is not about Triumphant, it's just about Scotty Inman, so we won't cover all that. But it is true, nonetheless, we want to point it out. Well, I'm glad to be a part of the group, and uh, it's been a fun 20 years, and we're having a good time. And thank you for letting me kind of have my own little time here with yeah. you and Jimmy and not bringing those other no, you know, this, old guys in this here is just you. Thing. Yeah, this is our day. It's just our day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Our second guest is a Grammy award winning songwriter. He may not have been voted favorite baritone of the year, but he is one of my favorite all time singers in the whole ride world. He is married to the beautiful and multi-talented Sonia Isaacs Geary. And most of the genius part of that original introduction was really about Jimmy. <laughs> Scotty, I'm kidding. Wow. Yeah, wow. <laughs> Scotty, you know, you know, you know I'm what? kidding. Yes. <laughs> I think but I think I'm the one that's that called him the genius. So we're, it's all, it's all, so it's okay. It's all circling around. It's all circling around. Yeah. But birds of a feather flock together every single time. So we're going to give you guys equal credit on that genius line anyway oh, uh, welcome back uh, to the morning show jimmy geary hey well it's good to be here you know the thing about being with uh, with scotty uh you know he make i can't make fun of him i want to so bad 
But oh, he, yeah, you but can. He, but, well, but he makes fun of himself. Like, when he said barely tone, that was supposed to be my line. Scotty, yeah, that I'm was sorry, my Jimmy. line. <laughs> yes. Sorry, Jimmy. Stop it. Those are my lines. All right. Me, me and Jimmy, uh, honestly, uh, I'm just honored to be in his presence. I mean, the guy is um, amazing, and uh, and he's very mean. Anyway, <laughs> <moving Very on>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. we're going to tolerate yeah. him today. We are. Uh, guys, that's as far as what I have scripted to say. That's it. Everything else is going to be winging it. Uh, are, you, are you cool with that? Mm -hmm. Let's roll. Let's roll. This is yeah. not an interview. That's not. It's different from every other time you've been on the show. You are equal co-host of the show today, and we're just going to have fun and interact. No pressure here, just pure entertainment. So we're good? Yes. Well, we're going we're gonna to find out if Scotty can talk without a script. That's going to be. <laughs> we're going to see if I can talk without a script. <laughs> <laughs> and myself I as well. Good. Yeah. I and am so happy to be here <laughs> with you guys. <laughs> Okay. Scotty, you're doing great so far. You're doing great. Thanks. I want to start Jimmy. out by by letting you guys do a little bit of talking. I paired you two together as our panel on the morning show because you are not strangers. You're friends. You are co-writers together. Uh, you're even going to do a little singing together uh, down the line. We'll talk about that. It's oh. coming up. I'm sure you already do, but we've got an event coming up later this year that we're going to talk about. And I met Jimmy Yeary. I've only met him one time, but that was through Scotty. You remember that? Scotty, you invited us to the release party up in Nashville. Tate and I came, and that's where I met Jimmy. Yeah, y'all were so cool to come to my city release party, and uh, there was five people there. You, Tate, Jimmy, and my wife. So it was, yeah, it was well, right. It was it was well attended, and and you and Jimmy got to meet each other. And honestly, two awesome people uh, that are friends of mine, and now we're all all friends. And so, yeah, it's thank you both for coming to that. By the way, I don't know if I ever said thank you, but thank you. Oh, you said it you many did. times. <clears throat> we, I laughed. We had Jimmy on the show after that, and I laughed and said that Jimmy actually walked by me, and he said. You look familiar. Do I know you? And I couldn't think who I was. I thought I don't know me. I don't. I don't know if I know you. I don't know who I am. I, I know you're Jimmy Yeary, but I don't know who I am. So anyway, that's where we all hooked up. Was was over at Scotty's. So yeah, that was. Yeah, hard. I'm so, I'm so great with faces, and I wish everybody wore. I wish we all had to wear name tags. Yeah, I just I'm right. So anyway, I love you. I love Scotty. This is it's awesome to be uh, to be chatting. We're going to have we're going to have a whole lot of fun. We're going to take a break. We've introduced everybody. We're going to play a song right here. And when we come back, we're just going to talk about some of the events going on. Just some fun stories that we've been talking about on our show. And we're going to get Jimmy and Scotty's opinion on some of these fun little stories that we've been talking about. But for now, here's the new one from The Guardians. Come on in. Come on, come on, come on. Come on in this house. It's the rock that availeth much. In every city I'll build a church on a solid rock. It'll stand and I'll say, shelter. Listen, children, go and come again. you got a standing invitation to my Father's house. Oh, standing invitation to my Father's house. Yeah, standing invitation to my Father's house. Come on in this house of the Lord. To my father's house. Come and go with me to my father's house. To my father's house. There's peace and joy and love. There's victory from above. Come and go with me to my father's house. To my father's house. Why don't you come on in this house? And why don't you come on in this house? Yeah. Time. We're gonna have a stand. 
to let the world know God's got a song and it is the song of salvation through Jesus Christ and him alone and we will sing this song and we will play this song as long as we have breath in these bodies and then the Lord will give us a new song a song that only the redeemed can sing And we will sing that song through all of eternity. My name is Natalie Duncan Emmons, and you are listening to The Morning Show. for grass-fed beef that's USDA certified, look no further than our friends at JNL Farms. JNL Farms raises 100% grass-fed beef with no additives. JNL Farms sells steaks, ribeye, sirloins, New York strip, or any of your favorite steak cuts. They also sell roast, hamburger meat, any kind of specialty beef you want, they can get it done for you. Grass-fed beef is a healthy choice because it's leaner and has significantly lower levels of saturated fat. It's also higher in vitamins and antioxidants. It's simply a healthier choice for your body. So for special pricing or requests, pick up locations, you need to call our friend Larry Mathis at JNL Farms at 601-917-8063. That's 601-917-8063. Be good to your heart. Make the healthy choice. Choose delicious, grass-fed beef from JNL Farms. Music, ministry, and more. It's The Morning Show with Natalie Duncan Emmons. You're listening to The Morning Show. And now, with your patriotic point of view, here's Larry Gresson. 
The Biltmore Estate is a very popular tourist attraction in Asheville, North Carolina. In fact, while Asheville is known for many wonderful things, it is perhaps best known for this unique American estate. The Biltmore encompasses 8,000 acres with a 178,000 square foot chateau-esque style mansion. Built by George Washington Vanderbilt II over a period of six years spanning from 1889 to 1895, it is still a privately owned house today. Vanderbilt was the youngest son of William Henry Vanderbilt and Maria Louisa Kissam. As a young man, he began making regular visits to Asheville with his mother and fell in love with the region as so many others do. The scenery in the Asheville area is gorgeous year-round, and the temperature is always pleasing because the city is in a picturesque valley. It rarely gets too hot or too cold, regardless of what temperatures the surrounding towns are experiencing. Young Vanderbilt loved the area so much, he decided to build a summer estate for himself there. His elder siblings had already built their own summer estates up and down the eastern United States. This one was to be George's special retreat of his own, and he referred to it as his little mountain escape. However, the estate was and is anything but little. George Vanderbilt's 250-room chateau is as impressive today as it was more than a century ago. In 1964, it was declared a national historic landmark. Today, it is one of Western North Carolina's most popular tourist attractions with more than a million visitors each year. The Biltmore Estate, everyone should see it. I'm Larry Gressett with your Patriotic Point of View. The Patriotic Point of View was brought to you by Joe McGee Construction. Joe McGee Construction believes family is one of God's greatest gifts. Family owned and operated for the past 33 years, Joe McGee Construction is the proud employer of some of Mississippi's best tradesmen. Together we are supporting our communities and working hard to ensure that every commute to work and every ride to school brings us safely home to our loved ones. Valuing faith, family, and the Magnolia State, Joe McGee Construction is building safer roads for a better Mississippi. Joe McGee is my friend, and I thank him for helping us bring you the best mix of Southern Gospel music, along with your patriotic point of view here on the Lake Mississippi. I would like to invite everyone to our revival, beginning Sunday, March the 19th through Wednesday, March the 22nd. Sunday services start at 11 o'clock a.m. and 6 o'clock p.m. Monday through Wednesday will be 7 o'clock p.m. Dr. Danny Lanier will be the guest speaker, and we would love to have you come and join us. We're going to shout the glory down, join in that heavenly sound, toe tap and hand clap and revival. We're going to stand and testify, hands lifted up to the sky, face stir and shake the earth, revival. All right, this guy right here just happens to be our guest today. He's on the panel, and he and Jimmy Geary will be back after this song. Here's Scotty Inman. I think about walking down Main Street and the folks that pass my way. Seeing old friends and family and talking about the day when this is what we dreamed about what we were living for now we're standing in the wonder just being with the lord don't need to be streets of gold they could all be red dirt roads i'm not looking for a crazy mansion i feel at home in a humble cabin don't matter about a crystal sea a little pond is cool with me and i gotta say at the end of the day it comes down to this heaven's anywhere jesus is i think about all the songs we sing when our faith is turned aside 
face with the king of kings what i've longed for all my life no more sorrow no more sadness no more tears in our eyes forever living in the land of no goodbyes don't need to be streets of gold they could all be red dirt roads i'm not looking for a crazy mansion i feel at home in a humble cabin don't matter about a crystal sea a little pond is cool with me and i gotta say at the end of the day it comes down to this heaven's anywhere jesus Our genius panel of the day, Scotty Inman and Jimmy Yeary. It's fancy. It's always fancy when we have a panel, but it's extra fancy today. Thanks, guys, for being on the morning show. Hey, Jimmy, don't be offended that she said my name first. It's alphabetical order. <laughs> is that what it is? <laughs> yeah, I'm going I'm I'm to I'm start getting contracts for this stuff and just put that on paper. You know, that way yeah. we have an equal. Uh, Jimmy and Scotty sounds good as well, but Nick. whatever. Next introduction, I'm going to do it that way. It we'll does. go back and forth. We'll go back and forth. <laughs> hey, <laughs> I want to know, have, have you guys seen the new Jesus Revolution movie? Scotty? Uh, I haven't. I haven't. I, I have not. I haven't either. I have not either, but I've heard a lot of good things about it. I heard it's doing really, really well, and that it's in more theaters every weekend, and it's uh, bringing in a lot of money. A lot of people are seeing it. I just wondered if you guys had seen it. it it, it was my plan to go. Yeah, it was my plan to go see it. But man, I just I hate to say I don't have time. But well, you you know, traveling don't. on the weekends, sing, traveling on the weekends, um, you know, we're basically singing every night. And uh, when I'm home, you know, yeah, we don't believe in movies. We we we're Christians. Uh, we don't like to go. <laughs> we, we don't we don't go to the we don't go to picture shows. Um, wow. no, I'm joking. I'm joking. Wow. <laughs> You try to stay right with the Lord. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's I think it's amazing though. Yeah. Yeah. We're we're gonna go. We're gonna go probably uh maybe this week or next week. But yeah, everybody's everybody, my mom just saw it. She was just raving about it. And I told her not to, you know, don't don't spoil it for me. But uh but but she's uh she loved it. So yeah. No, so I think it's awesome that that it's on mainstream, you know, you know, they're I, again I'm not seeing the movie, but from from everything that I've read, I mean, it's obviously amazing, and the fact that it's getting mainstream attention yeah. uh, and being a Christian film is just really awesome. Yeah, I think any attention that we can bring to Jesus in these last days is a good thing, right? Uh, absolutely. Uh, absolutely. You know what I think it Go ahead, Scotty. I'll go ahead. Sorry. No, no, no. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Well, I was simply going to say that that it is awesome. It feels like that with the chosen that with a lot of music the, a lot of the movies a lot of the uh the more uh um uh maybe maybe more high class more professional film cinematography and such mm -hmm. you know it's good to paint christianity in a in a an equally uh a, a quality light so when you have great films and great actors 
by, um, getting this message out there, it, it's really important. So I think I love quality music. I love quality films. And so when you can make those and they stand up to the secular stuff, I believe that's that's important to uh, an important selling point, if you will. So, and it feels like it's headed in that direction. Yeah, absolutely. And honestly, it, it gives me hope that maybe I'd kind of, I hate to admit that I've kind of lost that we'd ever see, you know, Christian based filming in a quality light. You know, sometimes you think, man, this world will never, you know, like you know, Grammys or, or different places that are secular that you go, I don't think, you know, our genre or Christian music will ever be really given the opportunity in big, you know, uh, big moments or, or, or places where there's a lot of eyes. So it just kind of yeah. gives me hope that there's more opportunities in the future. Absolutely. Yeah. There's another one coming out in, um, well, Easter weekend, I believe. And it's based off of the story in Genesis 22, where the biblical account of Abraham, when he uh, offers up his son Isaac as a sacrifice, or intends to offer Isaac as a sacrifice, I should say. There's another really big movie about that coming out, and that's supposed to be a big deal, too. So I know we're just, it's getting a lot of attention, and, and I'm thankful for it. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I look forward to, to watching these. Yeah. And not just the movies. I, I think that the whole the whole revival thing that's going on around the, the, the country, mm -hmm. that's getting yeah. a lot of, of attention, not just in our circle. I mean, it's spreading and it's spreading and people who who not who that's not their normal lingo. That's not their normal go to thing. They're getting to experience it and hear about it, you know, and I'm just excited. We had Marty Rabin on the show last week from Shenandoah. And, uh, you know, that's not every day that you have somebody like that on a Southern Gospel station. And but we had him on. And we were talking about Shenandoah's new song, Revival, and how it gives them an opportunity. Maybe it's not a, a classic gospel song, but it is a gospel theme. And it gives them an opportunity to, to put that frame of mind out there and to bring up that idea to an audience who maybe didn't come to hear that. But it gives them an opportunity to talk about it and to talk about these revivals that are going uh, going on across the nation. And we, we support that. We're excited. And it was an honor to have Marty on the show. Well, you know, Natalie, the uh, just to make that 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 same old farmer reference, but you know, the drier the ground gets, the more the more people start start craving rain, mm -hmm. and it it it's it's like we have we have hit a place right now, in in this country in this world that it's it's like things are getting a little nutty, and yeah. Yeah. and I know everybody's always said that, but it really you know it's just getting a little nutty, and the more kind of kind of out there it gets people are really starting to to go hey we need a we need help we need a solution and and we've got to stop asking for permission it's time to it's time to start start connecting again and telling the world that that and boldly tell the world hey we're connected yeah. and i feel like that's that's what's happening right now yeah, so. yeah. It's 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 interesting you said that because I was going to say the same exact thing. Uh, you know, I feel like in crisis, whether it be nine eleven or COVID or whatever, people are looking for hope. They're looking for, like you said, they're looking for rain in the dry times. And uh, you know, I I hate it's that. Well, I hate it takes that. You yeah. know, I, I I don't. I mean, I I, I wish, but even Christians sometimes. It's not until our backs are against the wall that we go, oh, yeah, you know, maybe I should lean on Jesus. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, I think it's, again, though, it goes back to the quality. Like Jimmy said earlier, I think as long as the quality's there, it will, it will be accepted. I think it's a blanket thing across all Christian music. But I do think we have to raise the bar up to where, you know, when we are given the opportunities, we it we can we can hang if that makes sense we can yeah. hang with with the other genre yeah. of music to where it's not a, a fall off absolutely yeah. yeah 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 and that's why we give them equal credit on the genius statement jimmy geary scotty inman you just heard from both of them i concur with each of you well we're on that revival theme so here is shannon doa marty rabin was just on the show let's play that revival song that's kind of what we've been talking about but don't go anywhere we're just about halfway through we've got a lot more to come from our panel and it's going to be fantastic don't go anywhere <laughs> It's 
been a long year, can we all agree? Feels good to be back in Tennessee. Ain't no place I'd rather be sitting next to you, next to me. How you been, how you been, how you been? Picking right up with some real old friends. Been so long it should be a sin, but here we are again. We're having a revival. Good Lord, hallelujah. These red dirt road disciples got spirits running through us. It's right here reminiscing and tailgate conversation. Yeah, we got this down home. by the fire everybody's singing like the choir another year older and wiser but we ain't gonna act our age no way how you feel how you feel how you feel any kind of nice seeing mud on the wheels all these trucks circled up in the field just like we used to do we're having a revival good lord hallelujah these red dirt road disciples got spirits running through us it's right every Tailgate conversation, yeah, we got this down home, hometown congregation. Having a revival, revival, revival. Having a revival, revival, revival. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Call us prodigal sons all in town. Some fun. We've been gone, but we're back like we ain't never left. Yeah, we're boot scooting, dancing, and clapping our hands like a family. Yeah, man, feeling blessed. Having a revival. Good Lord, hallelujah. These red dirt road disciples got spirits running through us. It's right every reminiscing and tailgate conversation. Yeah, we got this.
to talk to you about the good folks over at Hometown Roots in Sebastopol, Mississippi. Hometown Roots is not only an amazing boutique with lots of gifts and fashion, but Hometown Roots is a florist that can provide all of your floral needs, and they do it with excellence. Kitty Ladner and all the folks at Hometown Roots, they're flower experts, and they create some of the most beautiful live flower arrangements that I've ever seen. Cut arrangements, single flower arrangements, mixed arrangements, the compact arrangements, that's the little small flower arrangements. Well, they do it all. Have you ever sent someone flowers? Well, you should try it. It's a great feeling, and it doesn't have to be for a special occasion. I've sent people flowers just to say, I appreciate you, or I know you've been having a tough time. Flowers are appropriate for any occasion, and flowers say it better than any words. So I think we should be sending more flowers. I believe it'd be a good thing. So call Hometown Roots today, 601-625-7512. You can look them up on the fake book. You can send a message. It's super easy. But let's make somebody's day better today or this week with a fresh cut arrangement from Hometown Roots. It'll make you feel better too. Hometown Roots, that's just the place to be. Go and tell the news I started in the garden Was finished in the tomb It's all reversed The apple, the curse Three days in the ground 
Christ our Lord is risen, death couldn't hold him down. We're glad you're listening this morning to The Morning Show with Natalie Duncan Emmons. Stay tuned. The best is yet to come. You're listening to The Morning Show. And now it's time for your pastor's perspective, brought to you today by Dr. Robin Brumfield with Trustworth Living Ministries at robinbrumfield.com. And now here's Dr. Robin. Need a low spiritual boost? Or maybe you need to know that you're exactly where God wants you. You're doing exactly what he wants you to do. You are right in the center of God's will. We know from a verse of scripture in John chapter 15, verse 5, it says this. This is Jesus speaking. He says, I am the vine, you are the branches. He who abides in me and I in him, he bears much fruit. He says that all we need to do is abide in him, get our strength from him, get our direction from him. And when we do that, he will abide with us as we abide in him. He says first that we need to abide in him. Then after we abide in him, then he will abide in us. And what is the result of us living that kind of a lifestyle where we're getting our strength and direction from the Lord and him providing it for us? He says that we will produce much fruit. Not just fruit, but much fruit. We'll be very fruitful in the kingdom of God by just relying on the Spirit to guide us and direct us and give us direction. This is Robin Brofield with your Pastor's Perspective. The Pastor's Perspective was brought to you by Salem Baptist Church in Lake Mississippi. Salem is my home church, and I'm thrilled that they've partnered with The Morning Show to help us bring you, well, not only the best music in the world, but encouragement and words of life straight from God's Word. Brother Larry Duncan and the entire congregation at Salem, they invite you to come and visit whenever you get the chance. We're located just a few miles off of I-20 coming through mid-Mississippi. So if you live in our area, if you're ever traveling through our area on a Sunday morning, Sunday night, Wednesday night, Well, you stop off the lake exit and visit with us. Thank you to Salem Baptist Church for bringing you your pastor's perspective. I am Larry Duncan, pastor of Salem Baptist Church in Lake Mississippi. I would like to invite everyone to our revival beginning Sunday, March the 19th through Wednesday, March the 22nd. Sunday services start at 11 o'clock a.m. and 6 o'clock p.m. Monday through Wednesday will be 7 o'clock p.m. Dr. Danny Lanier will be the guest speaker, and we would love to have you come and join us. We're going to shout the glory down, join in that heavenly sound, toe tap and hand clap and revival. We're going to stand and testify, hands lifted up to the sky, face stir and shake the earth, revival. From Egypt will Pharaoh behind, hoping the promised land soon they would find. God's chosen people, they were willing to stand. They would not give up till they reached that fair land. We are those children the Bible talks about, just like those children Moses led out. Well, we've been in the wilderness for much too long. We are God's children, soon we'll be home. Oh, you may be walking where it's dusty and dry, but soon we will gather by the river of life. Saints of all the ages will be singing out loud. We are those children, God children the bible talks about just like those children moses let out well we've been in the wilderness for way much 
much too long. We are God's children, soon we'll be home. We are God's children, soon we'll be home. Well, we are those children the Bible talks about. Just like those children Moses let out. Well, we've been in the wilderness for much too long. We are God's children, soon we'll be home. We are those children the Bible talks about. Just like those children Moses let out. Well, we've been in the wilderness for much too long. We are God's children, soon we'll be Jimmy, Yeri, and Scotty Inman. Did I get it right that time, Jimmy? You did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It does have a Y on the end of it. Uh-huh. <laughs> I did better. We'll swap it back next time, Scotty. That, that wasn't permanent. <laughs> I, I'll believe when I hear it. <laughs> we did, you first, it the, we did yep. you first the first two times. So, say we're just equaling it out. That's all. Hey, listen, oh, guys. Oh, me. Okay. We, we tell just funny little stories here on the morning show, just pure entertainment. And I want to just bring up a couple of these stories that, that have been interesting to me. And I want to get your opinion. All right. This dude, his name is Elvis Francorius. And this has been on my mind a lot lately. I'm going to give you a quick, quick version of his story. Now, this man is from the island of Dominica. He's just a normal person on the island of Dominica. He had a little bitty boat, not a fancy boat. I mean, just a little, little bitty boat. He's out on the beach and he's, he's working on his boat. A big storm comes in and swishes him out to sea. He, he's swept away. He's not a real sailor. I mean, he's never been out at sea before, but the storm takes him out to sea. The Coast Guard of Ecuador finds him 24 days later. He has been out at sea for 24 days. And they find him, I don't know, hundreds and thousands of miles away from the island of Dominica, a long, long way away. And he survived simply off of a bottle of ketchup that had been, he found in the boat and a bottle of garlic powder. That's all he had to survive 24 days. Now, he was found, he was rescued, he was brought back home. Here's the part of the story I want to talk about. I come back later with this update that the food company Heinz has put out a press release. We are looking for Elvis Francoius. If we can find Elvis Francoius, we want to buy him a brand new boat. And they start telling what all they want to do for Elvis Francoius because they got a lot of attention out of the story. Everybody was talking about how he survived off the Heinz ketchup, right? Mm -hmm. I said to my audience right away, now something smells fishy to me. For Heinz to make the statement, if we can find, they actually made a worldwide plea in their social media post. Can you help us find Elvis Francoius? If we can find him, we're going to give him this brand new big boat. Now, guys, <laughs> we live in the world that everything is at your fingertips. They found him 24 days out at sea, thousands of miles away. They found him out there. The Coast Guard did. He's at home now. He's at home in the Dominica. And Heinz says, if we could only find him, we would do all these things for him. Sounds fishy to me. I don't think Hans really wants to find Elvis Francois and give him that boat. What do you think? Well, he's actually one of my favorite. I don't know, but. But. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So you know Elvis? He's, he's, <laughs> you know, these algorithms, I mean, there's no promise. It'll make it to the Dominican on that Facebook, you know. Oh, is that you know, what it is? <laughs> I, you know, I mean, you know, I mean, I think, I think the Coast Guard's got a better chance of getting the word out than than we do about concerts on Facebook sometimes. <laughs> but anyway. Well, here's another update to the story. There's part three. Okay. All right, Heinz now has put out a new update that they have found Elvis Francoius. They have located him. They have talked to him. Then the next paragraph says, we have been in contact with him 
and we are working out negotiations to see if Elvis actually gets the boat. I told you, Hines does not really want to give that man that boat. Hines wants the attention for one oh. to give the man the boat. They want credit that, oh, Hines, is, look what Hines is going to do for this man. Now they found him, and they still haven't given him the boat. They say they're working that out to see if that's really going to happen. I think I was right about it. <laughs> Come on, help me with well, this. You know, Jimmy? Well, I, yeah, I, if I was Hines, I would just go buy a John boat or something. Right, a little trolling motor, and uh, and and give it to and and give it to old Elvis. I mean, that makes for a great story. Um, yeah, and I I just as a side note, I was raised on on ketchup uh, myself, uh, ketchup and and uh, and uh, meatloaf and 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 squirrel. And believe it or not, we ate squirrel, but that's a whole other story. But yeah, so I yeah, if I was on a boat and only had Heinz and what else, garlic powder for, for a, bo a, sake. a bottle of garlic powder. Mm -hmm. a bottle of, yeah, so, uh, and I'm also wondering, is the uh, garlic company, are they reaching out to Elvis? You know, I've not heard maybe, anything from maybe, them. Maybe they buy, buy him a canoe or something. The, Scotty, what are your thoughts? Or, or, or a breath mint, uh, <laughs> you know. Um, yeah, I think, right. I think the, you know, I think the garlic thing, uh, obviously they're the smarter of the two because Heinz has put it out there and uh, it sounds to me like Heinz is uh, not wanting to pony up. But I'm with Jimmy. They didn't say what kind of boat. It doesn't uh, matter. You know, it, it, doesn't it could matter. be just a plain old, yeah. They're not obligated boat. to give the man anything. They're not obligated yeah. to it. It would simply be an act got, of kindness. But it's right. a lot of attention. A but lot it's of attention. a lot of attention. But but once yeah. you get all the attention, my thing is, I don't really trust Heinz's motive here. I don't think that this man will ever get a boat from Heinz. I think this is just a campaign from Heinz for attention. I don't really think they ever intend to give the man the boat. Or they would have given the man the boat. Well, well, I'm a, I mean, I'm a mustard mayonnaise guy. Um, <laughs> I'm a you mustard. Know, yeah. ke ketchup gives me reflux. And so usually with ketchup, it's followed by a Prilosec. <laughs> um yeah so right. i mean i don't i'm already i'm already not a fan of Heinz. so all right so we're and, done with that go ahead well Jimmy. mayonnaise has got a, well mayonnaise has got a lot more cholesterol of it but and scotty knows that but also did this guy <laughs> did, did, did 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 elvis really i mean because he wasn't drinking water he's i mean he can't he has no he's he lived off of one bottle Heinz it's ketchup the truth. For, yeah. for 14 days no 24 days jimmy 20, 24 sorry days. You know mm -hmm. what? Get a hold of Elvis. I'll buy him a canoe. I okay. will buy this guy a boat. I think Scotty. we could do some kind of GoFundMe account and, and you know, get him some kind you know of canoe, something. You know what? I will let Jimmy buy him a boat. I will, <laughs> I will second. I will, we will hey, support you know I, Jimmy. You know, I will support Jimmy. I will help Jimmy push that on Facebook. Um, I will help. Hey, well, I will say this. What that does prove is that uh, we weigh too much. Yeah. Um, the fact that he could... <laughs> survive off a bottle of ketchup and a little, little bit of garlic tells yeah. me that I overeat, um, yeah. which yeah. I already knew that. Me um, too. But anyway. Me too. Yeah. I don't think I could have yeah. done it. I've seen a picture of Elvis and he was, he was skin and bones after that 24 days, but I have a feeling he was skin and bones before the 24 days. Really? You know, you could, you could, you could just tell, I don't think he's a man of much means. He would be very appreciative. I'm sure of anything that he got from Heinz. Uh, but anyway, yeah. that's enough of that story. <laughs> I just wondered what you thought because the whole thing stirred me up and I think Heinz should follow through with that. If they're going to put that out there, they need to follow through with it. I really do. Heinz, Heinz, get him a boat. Get him insane. a boat. Okay, here's another little Heinz, story. Heinz, 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 get him a boat, or I, Heinz, get him a boat, or I'm gonna smack your hiney. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> anyway, well, we know there's not, lots of other lot. flavors. Ketchup. We could we could always go to Hunt's ketchup if they don't get the boat. You know, yes. lots of options. right. <laughs> okay, this one is not near as serious. This one is just kind of light and fluffy, but here. Uh, there is a new flavor of ice cream over in Germany that is becoming pretty popular. Here's the lowdown. A German ice cream parlor has expanded its menu with a skin-crawling offering, and it is cricket-flavored ice cream. They literally have little dried brown crickets on top. Now, the, the, the ice cream parlor is called Thomas Michelino's. They're a famous, famous ice cream parlor over there. This is not their first time to do something like this. They have offered liver sausage 
ice cream. They have offered, well, I can't really say the word, gorgonzola, cheese, ice cream. Cheese, yeah. Yeah, you know, some kind of something or some kind of cheese ice cream. Anyway, uh, so they've done things like this. Uh, oh, oh, they've also had gold plated ice cream. It cost almost five dollars per scoop uh, for that for that ice cream. But now the new thing wow. is cricket ice cream. I want to know if you guys would eat it. What do you think about that? Uh, well, I mean, I chocolate covered crickets. I mean, I'd do that or or deep fried crickets. Uh. I, you know, we could probably eat deep fried the, anything. That's the point. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I, I've, I've, I've seen the boxes of chocolate covered insects before. I mean, that's kind of a, a thing. Um, now ice cream, uh, yeah. I'm, I mean, for, for, for money, I mean, I mean, I'd do it. I mean, I would do it for like a hundred dollar bill or something or, you know, but in this case, Scotty, you wow. would be paying them. You're paying for it. And it's not just a flavor now, guys. The, the the little crickets are actually on on top of you know they they give you the scoops and then they actually put the little crickets the little dried crickets on top you can see them mm-hmm. yeah I'm out I, I'm out I mean I'm Jimmy, not paying for it what you think yeah I don't I don't know um I mean yeah uh yeah to, Scotty talked about a a hundred dollar bill um yeah you know he'll do anything for money but my thing is uh, <laughs> You know, <laughs> are they, but are they, if they're crispy, I don't know if they're crispy, but if you, if they get on the ice cream and get a little, little soggy, probably mm-hmm. not going to like crickets. I'm not, that's not going to, I'm not going to pay for crickets, but yeah, like, you know, I, if I'm there and Scotty and I are uh, making a couple hundred, hundred bucks. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Fish it. You can go fishing. I will, I will I will in a Hans boat. I will say this. <laughs> uh, we, we both have kids. Yeah. And I know Jimmy. I know how he is. I've watched him around his kids. And I know how I am around my kids. So there is, it on a vacation, the right time, the right motive. I could see me and him both doing it yeah. just to get a rise out of our children. Yeah, well, that makes sense. I, I, do, I, I, I do think that I know him well enough to know that I think we would both just, just to impress our or just to get a rise out of a our, laugh or yeah, like a, woo-hoo. a laugh. Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, it wouldn't I be think so we bad. would do it. Wouldn't be so bad. Yeah. It's just interesting. Yeah. That they come up with all that stuff, you know, for, for different things, you would think chocolate, vanilla and strawberry and things of that nature would be, would be good enough, but no, 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 no. That's boring yeah. nowadays. Uh, yeah, we, right. we won't end this segment with crickets. Cause that's just, that leaves a bad taste in our mouth. So we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna just at least say this. If, if you don't like the cricket ice cream, <laughs> The Cheesecake Factory has released a brand new line of cheesecake flavored ice cream bars. So I know I could eat that. Mm, mm -mm. We could do that, right? It's got it. Cheesecake is cheesecake is ice cream bars. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Now, I'd, Scotty, Scotty would give back that hundred dollar bill for that cheesecake. That's for, yeah. I, I would pay. Yeah, I would pay a hundred dollars for that cheesecake. Yeah, I would too. I would too. Okay, we can end on that. We can end on cheesecake bars. That's 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 a happy flavor. Okay, don't go anywhere because when we come back after a couple of songs, we're gonna do trivia with Jimmy Yeary and Scotty Inman, and we'll just have a whole lot of fun with that. And it's gonna be a competition. We're gonna be keeping score. So we're coming back with our panel real quick. <laughs> have come too far to turn back now there's an end inside we see and the lord has brought us safe thus far with his grace and perfect peace but too many battles have been lost with the finish line inside so let us keep the faith and win race before the day turns into night when you're halfway up the mountain there's no time to rest a while when you're halfway to your victory you must go that extra mile just keep praying Oh, my. 
stands He's not filled us yet So let us just keep traveling on Traveling on When you're halfway up the mountain There's no time to rest a while When you're halfway to your victory You must go that extra Drown in shallow water, not with your love within my reach. I did not come this far to falter and will not rest until I'm free. You are the sun. You are the flower, you are the wind across the sea, and I will kneel here at your altar and pray you'll take my soul to keep, oh precious one, you are the mountain, you are the earth. I feel in you were one now and forever in you I find the love in me through your love my eyes are open through your love I learn to see and in your name my bread is by your grace I'll rest in peace I will not drown in shallow water not with your love within my reach I did not come this far to falter and will not rest until I'm Did 
not come this far to falter and will not rest until I'm free. I will not rest till I'm free. Until I'm free. Well, in case you have not heard, My Pillow has a brand new pillow available. They are calling it My Pillow 2.0. It is the same patented feel as the original My Pillow, but there is new technology available now that Mike Lindell did not have when he first created the My Pillow. So this pillow is going to help you sleep even more than the original classic My Pillow. They are calling it the best pillow in the world you need to check it out go to mypillow.com it's the first thing that pops up on the screen and right now for a limited time if you use the promo code natalie n-a-t-a-l-i-e you can buy one get one free they're brand new they are hot now's the time to get them i'm ordering me one i've been needing a new pillow let's get one together let's check it out let's get a better night's sleep mypillow.com use the promo code natalie it's the my pillow 2.0 well we have two co-hosts this morning on our panel one is scotty inman the other is Jimmy Yeary. We have played a song by Scotty Inman this morning. I think it is only fair to play one by Jimmy Yeary. If you haven't heard this song, you will fall in love with it. I think it may be one of the best songs that Jimmy Yeary has ever written. It's called The Devil Led Me. I know what the devil looks like He's one more shot of bourbon after midnight He's a red dress that don't know right from wrong He's a bad choice dancing with a song I know where the devil likes to walk on hot coals down dingy hotel halls And memory lanes to dig up what you did wrong That's where the devil likes to walk and I guess you could call him a prophet Cause he'll show you all your sins And he'll scare you straight as whiskey If you get too close to him Sometimes you find the light Running from your demons and That's how the devil Led me to Jesus I know why the devil never sleeps Cause he loves to talk you right out of your dreams but he probably should have left well enough alone While that Bible on the dresser was still closed And I guess you could call him a prophet Cause he'll show you all your sins He's a beautiful fire Till the pain starts setting in Yes, yeah, sometimes you find the light Running from your demons And that's how the devil Led me to Jesus well, I had nowhere left to turn So I really had no choice But to fall down on my knees And cry out to the Lord Yes, yeah, sometimes you find Running from your demons I had to put a whole lot of distance in between us and That's how the devil Led me to Jesus We're glad you're listening this morning to The Morning Show with Natalie Duncan Emmons Stay tuned, the best is yet to come You're listening to The Morning Show and now it's time for your happy when you're laughing with your friend and ours, Mark Bishop. This is Mark Bishop, and you're happy when you're laughing. 
<laughs> Luther told me this morning that he got his days mixed up this past weekend. I called the newspaper office and said, how come I still haven't got the Sunday paper yet? The lady said, well, Luther, it's because today is Saturday. The Sunday paper won't be out till tomorrow. I said, well, that explains why there wasn't anybody at church this morning. I said, Luther, that reminds me of the boy that delivers our newspaper. He came by the house one day, told me that he found a wallet full of money on the sidewalk out in front of the church. I said, well, now, did you try to return it? He said, I'm still trying to figure out if it was a temptation from the devil or the answer to a prayer. <laughs> Flora teaches a Sunday school class to the 8 to 10-year-olds, and she said, how many of you kids would like to go to heaven? She said, every one of them raised their hands except one little boy. Flora said, son, don't you want to go to heaven? That little boy said, well, I'd like to, but my mom told me that I had to come straight home right after Sunday school. From the dawning of creation, all the saints of every nation who have lived on this earth and are gone shall awaken from their slumber, rise to join that countless number on that great resurrection morn. We shall rise. We shall rise. Will our brows adore? We shall rise, we shall rise, we shall rise, we shall rise on that great resurrection morn. Those who've left us vacant places will be there with smiling faces, and our hearts there again will be torn. That will be a happy meeting, all our loved ones will be greeting on that great resurrection morn. We shall rise, we shall rise, we shall rise, glory light, will our brows adore. We shall rise, we shall rise, we shall rise on that great resurrection morn. We shall rise, we shall rise, we shall rise, glory light, will our brows adore. We shall rise, we shall rise. Resurrection. Resurrection more. Resurrection more. We are back with our panel for one last segment. And, uh, you know, I don't know where this one's going to go. It could be a whole lot of fun or it could get a little tense. And we'll just take it however it goes. We have our panel of geniuses, Scotty Inman and Jimmy Yeary. So we swap it up. We swap it up. We're keeping it equal. Hey, yeah. Thank you, sister. Yeah. All right, this is going to be trivia. We're going to ask you guys, each of you guys, five questions, and we're keeping score. I've got a notebook right in front of me. I have labeled one column Scotty. I have labeled one column Jimmy. So we're going yes. to keep score. Now, we, you have two categories. Each question you can choose. You can choose from the general trivia questions, or you can choose from the music trivia questions and these oh. most all of these questions all of the general questions came from uh are you smarter than a fifth grader so that's the level that these questions are on they're not ex extremely difficult but i probably would not know all of them the oh, music okay. questions i just kind of came up with them from research so you'll you don't know what you're going to get there it could be about anything but you can choose and i think we're going to start with scotty here's how we're going to do this Scotty, your question, if you get it, we're going to give you a point. If you miss it, Jimmy gets a chance to answer the question, and he can steal that point. And then yes. we'll see who wins at the end. Vice versa, if Jimmy misses it, well, you can steal his point. Okay? Okay. All right. Number one, yep. do you want a general trivia question or a music trivia question? Uh, you know what? I'm gonna, I want to go... I'm going to go all the way. I'm just do general. Let's just, let's try, let's try to go all the way here. Let's try to go. All hard. right. All right. These are just totally, totally random. Some of these are tricky and some of them are not, but uh, I'm just picking one. All right. You ready? Number one, what is the Still. hottest, what is the hottest chili pepper in the world? Scotty, do you know? Carolina Reaper. You got it. Maybe I should make these harder, Let's but go. like I said, they're coming from Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader. So there, that, there's one point for Scotty. Jimmy, your turn. Do you Let's want go. general did, or do you want music? Did y'all trade notes? Okay. I tell you what. Um, let's go. Oh, goodness. General. Okay. Let's do this. I have, My blood pressure is through the roof. Here we go. <laughs> so we're doing general? <laughs> e e okay. Yes, it is. Okay. Here we go. What state in the United States is Valley Forge 
located in. Scotty, do you know this? I don't. <laughs> um, I, I should know this. That sounds like a Civil War thing. Um, I'm going to say, uh, oh, I'm going to say, um, I'm going to say Virginia. I'm an idiot. That's a wonderful guess. It's not correct. It's Pennsylvania. But I probably, I probably would have guessed Virginia because that's a very educated guess, and I'm impressed with it. Yep, yep, yep. But you hey, no point, lie, Jimmy. no lie. I, I was, I was going to say Pennsylvania. Really? Uh, I yeah. was. I and was I didn't, I, I didn't give you a chance to answer because you said you didn't know. I should have said, Scotty, would you like to guess? No, he didn't. But I was, he didn't know. I, no, he didn't know. He didn't. I was going to say, I was going to say, uh, <laughs> Valley Forge, Tennessee. Anyway, go ahead. Valley Forge, Tennessee. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, Scotty, are you going general or music? Let's go music. Okay. Yes. Right, let me, here we go. What city in the United States is known as the birthplace of country music? Uh, birthplace of country music. Mm -hmm. And it, I'm I gonna say, is, I thought, I, go ahead. It's not Nashville. I thought like this is a trick question. Yeah, I'm about to say, I feel like this is a trick question. It is not Nashville. Uh, and I bet Jimmy I knows know this, this, so you better think hard. I bet Jimmy knows. I know what I know. Bluegrass. I know. Uh, gosh, um, this is this is embarrassing, actually. No, it's a whole lot of fun. Uh, <laughs> I feel like I should know this. I think when you hear it, it's probably going to ring a bell. Yeah, Jimmy, go ahead. I, 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 I don't. Uh... I don't know. I'm, I'm going to say, can, uh, you say what state? Well, it's a city. It's a particular city. It is in Tennessee, but it's not Nashville. Yeah, I was going to say Memphis, but that's, that's not, no. it's not Memphis. No. Of course it's the only reason yeah. I know this is because I taught music appreciation at the college for many years, but it is Bristol, Tennessee. Does that ring a bell now? Oh, Bristol. my goodness. Oh. Yeah, Bristol, yeah. Tennessee. Actually, now, now that you Got say it. that, multiple yeah. choice, I would have got that. I yeah, got I, I knew choice. you would once you hear it. I, I knew you. Isn't that wild? Scotty knows the answer to all of these once they after you hear it. Yeah, that's the way it goes. That's the way it goes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now we're hey. to Jimmy. <laughs> hey, hey, me and G hey, me and Jesus know. Jimmy. We're gonna be here for we're gonna be here for three hours trying no, to if we have. <laughs> we're on question <laughs> number two already. There's only five questions. Jimmy, this is your question. Do you want music? Yes, let's. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm ready. I got this. Okay, who yes. composed the U.S. Mm -hmm. national anthem? Well, that was uh, uh, Francis Scott. Um, That's uh, it, Francis yes. Scott Key. Francis Scott Key. We're giving you the yeah. point. No, Absolutely. yeah, but no, now you're tired. No, no. Uh, yes, 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 yes. yes. No. yes. It, it was it. It was Ulysses S. Grant. <laughs> <laughs> it was not Ulysses S. Grant. But I tell you what, we'll take a little break. We'll come back and finish our trivia. Don't go anywhere. I have decided I'm going to live like a believer. Turn my back on the deceiver. I'm going to live what I believe. I have decided being good is just a fable. I just can't because I'm not able. I'm going to leave. Changed. I guess I'd been deceived Cause a voice inside kept telling me That I'd change by and by But the spirit made it clear to me That kind of life's a lie I have decided I'm gonna live like a believer Turn my back on the deceiver I'm gonna live what I believe I have decided Being good I just can't cause I'm not able I'm gonna leave it to the Lord So forget the game of being good And your self-righteous pain Cause the only good inside your heart Is the good that 
Jesus brings. And when the world begins to see you change, don't expect them to applaud. Keep your eyes on him and tell yourself, I've become the work of God. I have decided I'm going to live like a believer. Turn my back on the deceiver. I'm going to live what I believe. I have decided being good is just a fable. I just can't cause I'm not able. I'm going to leave it to the Lord. I have decided I'm going to live like a believer. Turn my back on the deceiver. I'm going to live what I believe. I have decided. I have decided. Being good is just a fable. I just can't cause I'm not able. I'm going to leave it to the Lord. I have decided. I'm going to live like a believer. Turn my back on the deceiver. I'm going to live what I He didn't compose any songs, no. Okay, so Scotty's got a point, and Jimmy's got a point. That was question number two. We're on question number three. We're keeping it rolling. What you want, Scotty, music or general? Music. Music. Okay, let's keep it on the music. Who is the highest-grossing country singer of all time? The highest-grossing. He has made more money selling more products. He's the highest-grossing country singer of all time. It is a male. Well, know? I mean, my first my first thoughts, Garth. That is correct. That is correct. Of course. Yeah. That oh, is correct. he shouldn't get that. That's too easy. That's, too uh, easy. that's okay. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you an easy one, too. Okay? Uh, here's yours, Jimmy. <laughs> okay. Who is the best-selling female artist? Oh, no, that's not as easy. Um, no, that's not as easy. Um, it's, not, the, it's not. It's not. <laughs> it's not. It's not. It's um, not. Uh, let's see. Okay, the most uh, the, the the selling uh, grossing artist, female artist in country music. Um, that she is so sold not... over one hundred million albums. Really? Mm-hmm. Um, oh my gosh! Um, it's ta- it's take... Taylor Swift's off the table, right? Yes. Yeah, she's not considered country anymore. No, and she not... didn't sell that in country. I mean, she probably oh. has in pop. Oh my gosh! My gosh! My gosh! Uh, it's an older singer, right? We know that. A couple of, um, I mean, a decade or a couple of decades ago. I mean, was her heyday? Um, I got. Uh, I know who it is. I know who it is. Do you, you really? You're not using your phone to Google no. it, are you? I, I promise. I got three names. I'm gonna. I got. I got three. It, I got three names. Okay. Jimmy, you got a guess? Okay, I'm gonna guess. Um. It's just one. It's a female artist. Um, this is a horrible guess. I'm going to say Wynette. I know she didn't. I know it ain't Tammy Wynette. Go ahead. No, you're ahead, thinking Scotty. too far back now. No, uh, that really? far back didn't sell a hundred million albums. So it's a oh, little of course. Bit more modern than that. And it wasn't. It wasn't Carrie Underwood. Go ahead. I'll keep saying names. Um, what, what you got, Scotty? You want to try to guess it? Is it Shania? It is Shania Twain. Oh, Man, gosh, I feel it's like a woman. Shania Twain. Jimmy Scotty is 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 whooping up on these points now. She He's whooping up. Well, honestly, I, my my first thought my first thought was uh, I I thought Carrie, then I thought uh, Reba, and then I was like, I think it's Shania because when you said a couple of decades ago, it kind of confirmed my Shania thought. Yeah, yeah. But, but but I did say that while Jimmy was still thinking, so he had the clue too. I don't think I fail. But Reba yeah. would have been an excellent guess. That's probably who well, I would have guessed if I hadn't had the answer. Yeah. In front of me. Right. Yeah. Okay. Right. This is. Definitely okay. tilted. Okay. Two, two more questions to go. Jimmy, you can recover. You can come I can? back. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so yeah. are we are we are we two to one? Is that what this is? It's three to one. Oh, it's three to one. Three okay. to one. But but we got two more questions. So you can get those two points. If Scotty doesn't get anything, at least we're tied. We're good. We're good. Scotty, what okay. do you want? General music. General. All right, we're going back to general. Yeah. Here's a good question. Here's a good question. There is one country in this world that is situated on two continents, according to which part of the country you're you're in. 
Do you know what country that is? This is a difficult question. Kansas City? <laughs> oh, so, sorry. Sorry. Uh, oh, shoot. A country that is between two continents. Well, it's not, but it, it's situated the way it lays. It Half of it's on one continent and part of it's on another continent. It's a, I'll give you this. Uh, Think Middle East. Think Middle East. Uh, I mean, Iraq. Well, you're close. It, uh, th do you know, Jimmy, before I say anything? Because you could get a point here. You need it. So Iraq, was that close? That was close, right? Well, I mean, was it's it? the general area, but it's Iraq is not big enough. you got to think a little bigger now to cover two yep. continents. Oh, you do have to think bigger. Um, mm -hmm. So like... Um, uh, I don't know. I have no idea. Germany? No. It's I have no idea. What? Who? It's Turkey. Oh, it's Turkey. see? Yeah. Turkey's pretty Damn, big. Now I'm, hung now, I now I'm hungry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, we're moving on. We're moving on. Jimmy, are you doing general or music? I'll get us a little bit of that old general. Yeah, okay. Let's see. Okay. Yeah. What Point. is the green pigment found in plants that is used during photosynthesis? What is the green part of the plant called? Fifth grade level. Golly. Scotty, you know this, don't you? Um, the green part. No, I don't. Is the, uh, that's not. Uh, it's the. Cl um, cl cl uh, cl <laughs> I'm trying. Chlorophyll. <laughs> chlorophyll? No. Um, Phil, uh, you, did you just say chlorophyll? I did. I'm giving you the point. That is correct. It is. Well, I was going to say. I was going to say. I, I didn't know if you wanted the Latin, uh, but chlorophyll. <laughs> is, so we're good. Three Scotty, don't you say it's rigged. You're ahead, and I'm just trying to help Jimmy catch up. That's all. I thought, I thought you were going to say chlor. I thought it was chlorine. No, <laughs> anyway. no. It could have been 100 words that started with that. He said it. Chlorine. He said it. But Scotty, you're Everybody still ahead. That. You're still yeah. ahead. One more question, and then we are done. Uh, what do you want, Scotty, general or music? Well, since we're musical, let's go. Let's finish up with some music okay let's finish with some music and i'm going to give you a southern gospel question okay i'm done okay I'm done. okay oh you're done i won't give you a, a southern gospel question uh thingamajig <laughs> over there i'm going to give him a southern gospel question yeah, okay right. what singer in gospel music had the original idea of groups traveling on a bus therefore completely revitalizing the way groups travel across the whole in, uh, across music in general. He was the one who came up yeah. with the idea and started it. Do you know? Yeah. Not only did he start it, but he's the reason why everybody from the Eagles to uh, Shania Twain to Carrie Underwood to everybody travels. Along. That's exactly uh, right. So He's the reason. He's it. And his name is J.D. JD Sumner. You're exactly right. So we give wow. a point right there to Scotty wow. Inman. Yeah, he wow. got it. He got it. He got wow. it. Wow. Wow. Okay. Well, gr great job, Scotty. Great, great job. You know, I feel like that was that was totally balanced. That's. Uh, <laughs> hey, I like, I like to thank. I'm, I like to thank. I like to thank all my fans. I like to thank uh, the Lord. <laughs> He's been. Uh, I like to thank uh, my wife for yeah. Uh, yeah. her support. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> and Natalie yeah, for producing the morning show. <laughs> and Natalie for yes. and Natalie for giving me all the answers yesterday. It's yeah. just a blessing. <laughs> hey, I'm going to give you one more question, Jimmy, because you still have a question coming, and I don't think this one's too hard. I mean, you could just give a guess and see if you get it. Oh, what was Elvis goodness. Presley's first hit in 1956? His first big hit. Do you know what it was? Oh gosh, uh, Hound Dog. No, it wasn't. Your, it wasn't Hound Dog. What? Guess again. You're close. It wasn't Hound Dog. Uh, Oh, uh, uh, starts with an H. I know, uh, uh hound dog. It's uh, starts with an H. Um, uh, 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 I don't know. Scotty knows this. He's obsessed with Elvis. Do you know Scotty? Um, isn't it uh, how great thou art? No, I'm joking. It's, I don't know. <laughs> it's heartbreak hotel. Heartbreak oh. hotel. See, it all it makes sense after I give the the answer every single time. Anyway, a whole lot of fun. But the winner of the trivia contest is scotty inman so congratulations right. scotty we'll have to give you that you know what? for today i will you know what? never i'll never live this down this will, <laughs> this will be the, this will be the only this will be the only this will be the only thing i ever beat jimmy here yet in my lifetime so it's an honor uh it's a, you it's, won today you won today we're coming right back to say goodbye to our panel and we're going to give you a big announcement that's coming up really really soon you're going to want to know about it hang with us till the end we're almost done all right coming back with the panel
He was just a country preacher Pronouncing benediction His message had been simple A child could understand He looked out from the pulpit He closed his tattered Bible Said bow your heads, close your eyes And take your neighbor's hand And now go spread the gospel as few words as possible They'd rather see a sermon Than to hear one any day Let your life be a beacon Let your light shine for Jesus Go spread the gospel As we leave this place said when you get down to it it's not that complicated we're all his disciples like peter james and paul no we're not great physicians and we can't feed the masses but we can tell the world about the man who did it all and now go spread the gospel as few words as possible They'd rather see a sermon Than to hear one any day We can all be a witness To His grace and forgiveness Go spread the gospel As we leave this place story of the cross and all the glory of the risen Savior and an empty grave. And now go spread the gospel. Use as few words as possible. They'd rather see a sermon than to hear one any day. We're coming back with our panel to say goodbye. Guys, this has been a whole, whole lot of fun for me. What an honor to have both of you on the show at the same time. I really do appreciate it. I had a blast. Yeah. A absolute uh, blast. Uh, yeah. so, uh, Natalie, thank you so much. Yeah. There's one more thing we've got to talk about before we go. I already have my tickets. I have already purchased them. I have the uh, the VIP down front where you get to come ahead of time and all that. We've already purchased our tickets. So we want everybody to know about this event, August the 19th. Now, that seems like a long way away, but it'll be here before you know it. What's going on Saturday, August the 19th in Sevierville, Tennessee, that we want everybody to know about? Tell us about it, guys. Mud wrestling. <laughs> no, uh, I'm coming. No, we, uh, <laughs> No, no, uh, man, I'm doing, I'm spent 30 years of my life in Sevierville, Tennessee, and uh, I don't live there anymore, but I'm coming back for the first annual hometown show. And uh, we're going, this is going to be an annual thing, and it's going to be in a neat little environment at the Civic Center. It's kind of a intimate setting. And I couldn't think of a better first guest uh, than my buddy, Jimmy Yeary. And he's going to come in and he is going to wow the audience with his uh, musicianship yeah. and his yeah. stories and his songs. And, um, and then I, and then I've got somehow um, figure out a way to not 
drowned after that. But it's going to be a great time, <laughs> and and so yeah, so it's going to be a full night of of a uh, of basically Jimmy Yuri and uh, myself. And I want you to show up. Uh, you can go. It's on I tickets. The only way you can get tickets is on I tickets. Mm-hmm. August the nineteenth is when it happens, and um, yeah. So it's if you type in uh, Scotty Inman hometown show on I tickets, or you go to my website scottyinman.com you can find out all the details would love to see anyone and everyone there but it is a limited number of people that's only it's going to be a small number so mm-hmm. uh that's not a self that's not a sales pitch that is that is the, the truth. truth that's the truth that's why i went ahead and bought my tickets so i went ahead and i was afraid i'd miss mine so i've got them i'm going to share that link today too. the facebook your event the facebook event I'm going to go ahead uh-huh. and share that immediately after this interview so people can have access to that, too. I'm super excited about it. I'm not sure mm-hmm. how I'm going to work out the logistics of it because Sevierville is about nine hours from me. That event's on Saturday night, and I have to be back Sunday afternoon, the, the 20th, to host the Kingsman at our church. But I'm going to work it out. I'm going to find a way. I mean, I can drive pretty fast. Well, so. You just cancel and, the Kingsman. That's pretty easy. That's yeah. obvious. Yeah. And, and I have and I have to say that I am extremely excited. I, excited about it. I'm a huge fan of Scotty as a person, as an artist. I really am. I enjoy being around him and pl- and playing music with him. And he he's just a dear friend. So that's going to be a really fun, wonderful night. And I, I'm really looking forward to it. I am too. I'm going to be there with Bale's Thanks, home. Yeah, and I'm tickled, too. We'll be telling people about it, and it's going to be a great event. Guys, you have a friend here on the morning show. Don't ever forget it. I hope you'll come back sometime. Thank you. Absolutely. Yeah, it's been a whole lot of fun. We've had a good time today. All right, we're signing off for now, and until next time, we'll talk later, okay? Love y'all. Awesome. Love y'all. Thanks, Thanks, Jimmy. Bye, Scotty. I love y'all. Bye-bye.
Well, it sure has been a fun morning with our panel today. Thanks to Jimmy Yeary and Scotty Inman for just, just a blast. Hope you have a good weekend, Lord willing. We'll be back on Monday. Great tell me of a land, a wonderful place where Jesus shows his smiling face in the tail. listening to The Morning Show with Natalie Duncan Emmons. We're glad you joined us. We want to invite you back tomorrow when once again you'll hear some of the very best in gospel music and some of the finest in Christian entertainment. Will you join us tomorrow? Is it a date? We'll look for you then. God bless and goodbye, everybody. <laughs>